Uh, James? Yeah, what's up? Why are you using NodeMon? Uh, well, NodeMon allows me to restart my server automatically when I save a file, so I don't have to manually restart it myself. Yeah, but you don't have to do that anymore. It's just built into Node. Wait, what? What's up, everyone? My name is James Q. Quick, and I do weekly videos on web development related topics. And I spend a lot of time working with JavaScript and Node and running programs. And we've all had this inconvenience of if you want to see the output of a Node application, you run the Node command like so. So you run Node and then the name of the file. In this case, this is solutions to advent of code, which I will have a video on one of these in the future at some point. But run this and I can see the output. But the problem is, what if I'm making changes? I don't want to have to manually restart this. Well, this is where no NodeMon came into play uh, years ago, where you can run NodeMon and then the name of the file. And then what happens is, as you save this file, it'll automatically go ahead and reload. But you no longer have to do this. This functionality is now built into Node itself. So I am on node version, actually, sorry, uh, let's do node dash V. So I'm on version 18 and in version 18.11 and up, including version 19 and so on, you can now run node and then a dash watch command uh, and then pass in the file that you're looking for. Oh, actually, sorry, dash dash watch. And this will have the same impact. So you no longer have to install node, which is a separate package you used to have to install it globally through NPM. Now you don't have to install it at all and you can run this straight through your node command. So this is available, available on 18. If I switch to use uh, version 17 and I try to run this with the watch command, it'll say it doesn't recognize this option. So you have to have 18 to be able to do this. And I think it's 18.11 going forward. So this will work. And then also, uh, I've got 19 installed as well, so I can run this on 19 also. I'll have a link to the exact documentation here. There's the watch flag, and then there's also a watch path flag. So the watch path will watch a specific directory and then run that file. Uh, so in this case, I would have told it to watch like my source directory and then to rerun the index.js. So you can pass in multiple paths here and then pass in the file name. So if I were working in a real project, I would probably tell it to watch something like my source directory. And when anything in the source directory changes, go ahead and run index.js or app.js or server.js or whatever it is. So built-in watch flag in Node.js is pretty helpful. I love NodeMon. I love having a live reloading server. Most of us are used to this with the uh, setups that come along with Create React App and other things for frameworks. So this is just built-in way now to have live reloading. Now, I do want to give a shout out to uh, Kelvin uh, and his channel on YouTube. This is actually where I first came across this idea. So if you haven't followed Kelvin, he does really awesome content on JavaScript as well. So go and check out his channel and follow the things he does because it's really amazing. Anyway, hope you can now replace NodeMon in your workflow. Use the built-in watch flag and watch path flag in Node 18.11 and above and not have to worry about manually restarting your server or installing an additional package like NodeMon to do it for you because it's built in. Hope you enjoy the video and I'll catch you next time.